Hey, it's Joe Glines. In this video, we're going to demonstrate um, basically building a, like a mail merge type thing in Excel. Uh, I would often have clients where I was trying to um, automate writing them emails, and I'd have their data in like a spreadsheet format, right? Or there was other information about the um, the email that I wanted to send that I had in the spreadsheet, and so I would want to put that into the body of the email or something. So here's a simple example. It's not the actual way I would go about doing this overall, because uh, in here I'm not customizing the uh, the body with HTML and adding a lot of stuff. But it's a it's a um, it's a simple to use function. Again, I wouldn't actually use it overall because it's looking at each row and telling it each time to use what column. And that also, um, and something this standard, right, you probably wouldn't do that. However, if you're doing something very quickly, this can be um, easy and, and quick to crank out. And actually, it makes it look pretty. So first here, we, of course, get a handle to the open Excel file. So that'll connect us to this. And watch your video if you haven't seen that. Um, secondly, the um, here, let me just talk through real quickly. So this is, it's pretty tough to read. It was all in one line. I broke it out over several just so it's easier to read. But um, I'm basically referencing here, I say, okay, um, I'm going to create a hyperlink in my destination, which is where I'm telling it it's the E column, right? You know what, let me let me also bold these, make them a little different. Um, and here would be my data, right? I have the email in here, name, subject, body, um, and this is where it's going to create a pretty link. It doesn't have to be pretty, but I, I just like having it pretty. And um, so I just go through and say, okay, the email is in... In, a, in this first call of the function, I'll go ahead and comment that one out for now. Um, in the first call, I'm in A2, and there's the email, and then the um, the text that I want to actually show up here in this new link, the pretty looking um, text that'll be hyperlinked to the whole email, uh, that'll go there. The subject line, of course I could just put in text here and it would pipe it on in there, or I can tell it as a reference, actually I'd have to change that, that's what it was. Uh, whereas I didn't have it in the spreadsheet, but I thought, you know what, this this often does come up where I would want this in here. And of course, in Excel, all you do is you go through and put it in here, right, just to use this format. Um, and the body goes here, and so uh, let me demonstrate here. I'm going to run the script. And so I just did the first one, right? This is a pretty looking hyperlink, and if we uh, get over that cell, you can see the formula, right? And basically, that's what I did. I reverse engineered this to, to handle it in auto hotkey. Um, and if I click it, oh, I'm syncing my Outlook. Let me let me close it and restart Outlook. Um, I was, I have a lot of email accounts that it checks. And okay, we're back. All right, so let me now now let me click it again. And so notice here's the subject line. Here's the message. It's going to that right email address. Um, let me get rid of this one, and I will uncomment this, and because these two in a row, and here's a return, it's going to run both of those. And so notice it's dynamically pulling these in. This one will go to the SPSS email address. Um, and, of course, I mean, in email, it's it's incredibly important. The, the more you personalize that subject line and the body, but the subject line, obviously, if they don't look at the email, um, it doesn't do any good. So the subject line is critical to make it interesting to them. Um, I have a background in statistics, and so uh, my SPSS God account, um, that's where this would have caught my headline, and uh, I would have put in the body here. Anyway, that's it. Um, pretty quick, easy way to do. The, the um, I'm going to do a follow-up video on this, except for I'm going to be inserting hyperlinks instead of uh, emails, but that's where I'll use the offset, and that's really how I would generally use this, is I, I reference a, a given you know, row, and then I pull the offsets to pull that in, and it's just a lot simpler of code. Thanks.